If you practice Islam, do you know who this man is? This is Omar ibn Said, and he wrote huge portions of the Quran from memory. He was born in what is now considered Senegal in West Africa, and he was from an area that was heavily influenced by Islam, so much so that he became an Islamic scholar himself. Unfortunately, he was captured and enslaved and taken to Charleston, South Carolina. He escaped his enslaver in Charleston and later moved to Fayetteville, North Carolina, where he was captured and re-enslaved. It's alleged that the people that enslaved him were so impressed by his education that they offered him the opportunity several times to go back to Africa but he refused because he wasn't sure if his family was still intact. It's alleged that he converted to Christianity, but that's disputed because in his Bible there were dedications to Muhammad and even a short surah that related to the conversion of people that followed Islam. And even in his own autobiography, he used the honorific that's designated for prophets when referring to Jesus. It's believed that he wrote for two audiences, white literates who wanted to exploit his conversion to Muslims around the world, and Muslims who would understand Quranic and Arabic subtext to understand his position of having to hide his faith openly while living under persecution. Unfortunately, he died enslaved, but today there is a masjid that's named after him in Fayetteville, North Carolina.